I get really, really excited about autumn. The colours of the trees as they molt, the smell of the air, the angle of the light. There's just so much beauty to look forward to. But the thing that excites me the most is going out to look for mosses and liverworts. These little plants love this time of year. It's their time to shine when everything's just a bit soggy and damp. I've actually ignored them for most of my life. They kind of seem too difficult, too similar to one another, and I got distracted by the plants that had flowers. But in the last few years, I've spent the autumns and the winters looking closely at them, and oh my goodness, they're amazing. There are just these entire worlds that I had no idea existed. My name's Leif, I'm a botanist, and I'm on a mission to open people's eyes to the miniature worlds of mosses and liverworts. This is my favourite bit of temperate rainforest, tucked along the shoreline on the west coast of Scotland. It's one of the most peaceful places I know, and it's where I've been teaching myself about bryophytes. Temperate rainforests are really exciting places to look for these plants, because they're soggy, they're mild, they're humid all year round, which is exactly what these plants love. So I'm really, really looking forward to going for a wander and seeing what I can find. Oh, beautiful. Oh, look at this, look at this. This is a really lovely species called straggling pouchwort. And it's a leafy leverwort that likes to grow in these sort of layered colonies on vertical surfaces like this rock face. And I just love the way that the light passes through the leaves, and the symmetry of the whole thing and how all the leaf tips are really sort of rounded at the edge. Liverworts are a group of small spore producing plants that are really, really closely related to mosses. And in this woodland, they are dripping off of every single tree trunk, every branch, every rock and boulder, all the way down to the sea. So I've just found a really, really cool one. It's called lobster tail liverwort, and it's one of my all time favorite species. It's this sort of bright lime green color, and it's just growing all the way up the tree trunk here. And it is so beautiful. I mean, just look closely at it. You've got this sort of rounded back where the leaves are folded over the top. And then at the end of each plant, it's split into sort of two or three, exactly like a lobster's tail. How amazing is that? One of the things I love about these plants is their adaptability. So because most plants have flowers and seeds and internal plumbing systems, then most people dismiss bryophytes as being primitive, which I think is completely the wrong way of looking at it. Because these liverworts here are using their little root-like structures to grab onto the tree trunk and they're taking water directly out of the air through their leaves. So what this means is that mosses and liverworts aren't limited to the ground like most plants are. They can climb up this tree trunk, get great access to light, and it really expands uh, the amount of available space that they have to grow in, as well as reducing competition from those bigger, thirstier plants for water. Some of them do grow on the ground though, and they've had to come up with ways of competing with other plants. A really good example are the bog mosses or the sphagnums. They like to grow in acidic soil, so what they do is they pump out compounds into their surroundings to make it more acidic, not only reducing competition from plants that don't like those conditions, but also creating a whole load of habitat for their own offspring. This one just down here is blunt-leaved bog moss, sphagnum palustri, and it's just beautiful. Look at those succulent fat leaves. They look so juicy. I could look at these all day. As well as liking acidic conditions, these plants need it to be wet, and I'm talking super soggy. But again, they create these conditions for themselves. So they have these specialized cells that just soak up water, meaning sphagnums are literally like botanical sponges. But the amazing thing is, is that each plant can hold up to 20 times its own weight in water, meaning that they're really good at slowing down the movement of water across landscapes, regulating our water cycles, and reducing flooding. There's this whole world of wonder out there, just waiting to be discovered, and all it requires of us is to slow down and notice. And you know, we might not all have temperate rainforests on our doorsteps, but these plants grow everywhere. So next time you see some, take the time to have a close look. It might just be the best thing you ever do.